Here we go, let's have a little walk around and see what we got to deal with. As you can see, it's pretty ming. Paint work is going to need a lot of work. We've got a huge, I don't even know what size they are. What size are they? 21 inch. We've got our 21 inch alloys. Plenty of cleaning to be done with them. Yeah, look at that. And we've got a convertible hood. Actually, the convertible hood is probably one of the things which, uh, which looks all right. And we've got our suicide doors, but this is where the fun begins. Look at that. This is a state. Ugh. We're definitely going to have to be PP'd up for this one. PP'd? PPE'd. This is just. Ugh. Look at that. I keep. I just. It's just rank. Uh, this is just. This has just been. Uh, this has just been sat for years. It's only a 2016 car. But. Yeah, it's just been sat for years. Rolls Royce door, look. Uh, hand built in Goodwood, England. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We better make a start on this, I suppose. Oh, it's going to take some time. I'm not even sure if this is going to come out very well. Right, let's get these suicide doors closed. And uh, yeah, we will make a start on this. We'll start on the outside first. Going to uh, give it a nice coat of um, all purpose cleaner. Then we're going to uh, we'll rinse that off, give it a good snow, snow clone, snow foam. Rinse that off, hand wash it. Then we're going to turn our attention to the interior before we come back out. Give the outside a good polish. So yeah, that's the plan. We've got a little while, we've got a bit of time, so we're going to take our time with this one. See if we can do a proper job. All right, let's crack on. So this is what I consider to be stage one or pre, Lee, Lee said, Lee said pre-wash, pre-wash stage. Yeah, pre-wash. So we've just gone over it with the all-purpose cleaner. We've, we've given the wheels a good clean. They've come up actually all right, not too bad, but there is, the paintwork is still very marked. There's still a lot to do on it. Um, yeah. What do you reckon, Lee? It's, uh, it's gonna take some work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can see, you can see in there like there's markings of where well, stuff's been on it and where it's starting to dry now. You can see there's a lot of marks on it. And it's going to take a fair bit of work just on the outside, but the wheels have come up all right. And you can still, you can start to see now those huge Rolls Royce calibers in there. Uh, yeah. Need that to stop this two and a half ton tank. It's massive. I'm not even sure I'm gonna have enough product.
Right, outside is done for now. Uh, we're gonna move over onto the inside, which I think is gonna take most of our time today and tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm actually, it's pretty good actually. It's, it's, looking, uh, it's looking much better than it was. Um, I think all it needs is a bit of a cut, a bit of a polish. Uh, we do that after the interior, so uh, yeah, let's crack on with there, I suppose. Charles Trents are one of the UK's leading experts in vehicle recycling, offering cost-effective solutions to the public and the trade. 90 years of experience and collecting over 50,000 vehicles a year using specialist equipment enable them to recycle over 95% of each and every vehicle. Do you have a scrap car that you don't know what to do with, MOT failure, faulty or damaged vehicle? Then why not jump onto the Charles Trent's website for a quick and easy instant quote. All you need is your postcode, your vehicle registration number and it's as easy as that. Trent's offer a fast and professional collection service along with the best prices paid for unwanted vehicles. You're getting on, is it clean yet? Getting there slowly. You've been on it for hours. Surely it should be clean by now. Come on, <laughs> pull your finger out. Right then, we've been cracking on at this interior for about three hours now, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not going too bad, but there is some areas that are gonna need a lot more attention. So um, I think tomorrow we're gonna come back to the steamer, um, we're gonna try some stain remover and, and really crack on with it. I did try to clean the mats, and Lee, what, what happened with the mats? Can you just show us what <laughs> these expensive Rolls-Royce mats? Um, we 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 blew it apart a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the. Mmm. It's a it's. <laughs> it definitely has seen better days. Anyway, with the interior, you can see it is miles better. We're really cracking on with it, but there is. You can see there's staining round there and there's some staining on the seats. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try some different things tomorrow when we come back, fresh start in the morning. Um, but it's coming along well. It is coming along well. We've got this orange staining on here, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright then. Should we call it a day? 
Let's call it a day, come back fresh in the morning. Fresh in the morning, we'll be back, crack on with some more. Right, see ya in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Hey there guys, welcome back to day two. It's now the next morning and we are back on the Rolls Royce again. 180,000 pounds worth. I know, yeah, I keep saying it, but yeah. We've got Lee toiling away in there with the, uh, with the steamer. So uh, hopefully that should help get some of the, uh, the stuff out, the nooks and crannies and stuff like that. We're gonna work a little bit harder on trying to get some of this stains out. I'm not quite sure how successful we're gonna be, but we're gonna do our best. Um, and then once we're, we've gone as far as we can with the interior, then we are uh, crack on with the outside, then get the outside looking better than it is. So uh, yeah, busy day today, busy, busy. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on, see what we can achieve. <laughs> So, we think that's the interior pretty much done. Me and Lee are quite happy with it. Um, it's not 100%, I think uh, to get it 100%, we'll, you'd have to start painting the seats, and, you know, start really treating them. But so far, we are really happy with that. And that's as far as we're gonna go with it. Um, next, we're gonna move on to the exterior. So, do a clay bar and uh, give it a bit of a machine polish. It doesn't need a lot, it's been quite well looked after, um, but there's some stains on there and some scratches. So we're gonna have a go at that, um, give it a polish, and then uh, a good wax, and hopefully uh, we'll be pretty much there. You all right down there? Just chilling? Yeah, yeah. chilling. <laughs> right then, let's crack on with the exterior of this Rolls Royce Dawn.
So there we go guys, Rolls Royce is finished. That has been a mammoth task and probably the biggest one that I've done so far. Really, really grateful for Leaf coming and uh, giving a hand. Got a bit of a confession to make. That's a scrap vehicle, believe it or not. <laughs> we really wanted to challenge ourselves and see if we could get this car looking good. It's a floods damaged breaker. Um, so this is gonna be stripped for parts and uh, hopefully gonna keep other Rolls Royce Dawns on the road. Um, so if you need any Rolls Royce Dawn parts, then contact Trent's and uh, I'm sure they'll sort you out. Um, from me and from Lee, that is about it. I am absolutely knackered. You knackered? I am absolutely shattered. Good man. <laughs> Don't forget, for all the products that I've used in this video, then the links will be down in the description. Check out the Amazon shop. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos just like this. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.